Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, Unikishi. I'm back again with another video. As you can see from today's title, I'm going to be doing a boarding school vlog or tour. I'm giving I'm going to give you guys a tour of my boarding school, Baldwin High School, before I leave because it's my last term. Thank the Lord. So let's just get right on into the video. Let's go, let's go, let's go. On at the front of the school, this is the entrance. Nice life at Harborside Drive. Follow me. So, this door is automatic, and then you have to fob in. Our fobs don't work right now because it's quarantine, but yeah, fob in. Damn! When you come right into the school, and this is the front office, it's closed down right now because it's, it's Sunday, but this is the hallway. I think I'm gonna take you to. Like we're going to cover the first floor first and then yeah we're we'll going to the second floor and then the third floor and let's go yeah this is the east gym it doesn't look like this during the normal school term but right now there's like gym equipment like to work out and all that good stuff that's not how it looks normally and then we have this like cute trophy thing over here but then we come along there's the elevators that take you to the boys' side, like the boys' ones. Only the boys on the third, only the boys on the seventh, sixth, and fifth floor get to use the elevator. But if you're on the third and fourth floor, you don't use the elevator because stairs. Um, and this is the East Cafeteria. <laughs> Okay, so this is the hallway that leads to the west side of the school. It's just a long hallway that nothing really happened at. Um, yeah. So this is the citizenship office side. Right here, we have a bunch of university brochures. So like, look at if you want to know this university, you want to go to do a little bit of research. Then the nurses office is right there. There's two nurses offices, and then there's a citizenship office. Nobody really knows what happens there, but there's that's the citizenship office, and then there's like the principal's office down there, but no one really goes there. Um, then we have this board that has people's pictures ready. Um, then this is the counselor's area. It's not right now, but all your counselors are going to be there. Um, people you talk to for advice and counseling or whatever, and just more of the whole. This is the elevator for the girls' side, but because the girls' dorms only go up to the third and fourth floor, we're not allowed to use it unless it's moving day or pack out day because um, we should use the stairs, stay healthy, don't be lazy. So yeah, we're not allowed to use the stairs normally, but the elevator, we're not allowed to use the elevator normally, but the elevators are here for, yeah, they're just there. Then this is the West Cafeteria, where we get our food. So up here is the stage, like the back side of the stage. So people come here just to chill, to do work or whatever, but this is the stage. Um, and we eat here sometimes too, so yeah. Ah! And then we have our vending machines that sometimes work. And then there's the ATM and then the coin thingy. Yeah, I don't know what it's a coin thingy. Then on the first floor, this is the female's washroom, male's washroom. 
and then this is the female's changing room, men's changing room, and then the swimming pool is here. It's always locked unless it's somebody to actually like God to make sure we are alive. But this is the swimming pool. I think it's a standard like 23 meters. I think it's about 23 meters, I don't know, but it is what it is. So, so. Um, so this is the West Gym. I don't know if you can see me because I'm dark skinned, but this is the gym. It's bigger, and this is where all the sports actually happen the basketball, volleyball, badminton, PE classes, and there's all the flags of every person that has been at Bodwell. So if you attend Bodwell or you have attended Bodwell, your flag is somewhere up here. And yeah, so. Let's move on to the last part of the first floor, and then we'll go up to the second floor. He shocked you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, okay. This is the another place to eat. This is another place where students eat. Um, and then there's the music room over there, the music room over there. Music room over there, the swimming pool is over here if like it makes sense. So you go around and the swim I hope you, I hope it makes sense, but the swimming pool is over there and the music room is over there. So, so these are the students. Not much to. <laughs> this is the second floor. Um, the only thing that really happens here is classes. Um, yeah, and study halls. So during like in the morning, people classes from eight fifteen till three thirty, and then. We have like prep, like Nigerians will call it, but we call it study hall here. Um, and if you're a junior from from seven o'clock to eight o'clock, you have your study hall. And from for if you're a senior, you have from eight fifteen till nine fifteen. Um, you can go out after study hall is over because but you have to be back in school by ten o'clock. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to um the, this this floor. It's just a bunch of lockers and it's normally locked after after study hall hours but yeah this is the second floor of bottle high school it goes all the way down there and then there's a turn all the way down there but it's just this currently locked right now because of corona they're trying to separate teachers from students so yeah um there's another side there for the teachers and there's some classes from classrooms there so we're going to go to the third floor and that's probably the part, last part of this vlog so let's go there isn't much of a difference between the second floor and the third floor in the sense that like there's just a bunch of classrooms all the way down there um oh I should, I should probably show the other so behind those doors I would, I would like take you guys upstairs from that side and see show you like what's behind those doors but the main main difference is that um on this floor if you go all the way down there that's the girls dorm so right now um spirit house and courage house are downstairs every year they move the houses around so your house is going to be in a different position so there is the girls dorm and there's a bunch of classrooms over here but the, also the other main difference about this how the third floor is that there is a patio so where people can eat nobody really does i think people used to in the past but nobody really really eats on the patio anymore but it's a place you can just like really just chill come out to be calm chill hang out with your friends and all of that okay so this is the patio. It is yeah. This is the patio. Um, then there's a prayer room over there. People don't really use it, but yeah. This is the patio and it is really cute and really nice to look at the whole of Vancouver from um, Up there are the fourth floor girls' dorms. On that side over there, there's a, that's where the staff that live on campus stay. 
and then on the other side that's where the boys stay so there's kind of like a separation i know the girls are not allowed to come up to the boys dorms i know the guys are not allowed to come up to the girls dorms i know that happens in some schools but it doesn't happen here it's girls over here on the west side and guys on the east side so normally we're allowed like we're allowed to go like over there but for some like during this whole quarantine time quarantine time <laughs> um staff were staying on campus so they were living there and to prevent contact with them we weren't allowed to and to give them their own space we weren't allowed to go to that side but normally we are allowed to go over there and yeah and there's these stairs that lead right back downstairs it's pretty cool and that's the field um there's a basketball court and a tennis court depending on the season so this is the stairs it's quite scary sometimes i don't know it's scary for me like going up during the winter because I don't know it's just scary but we quickly show you the like way up from and the auditorium from the other side from the east side because I show you, I went up the west there so we're going to go up the east there and yeah <laughs> seventh floor the guys have more space i don't know why i do it yeah uh this is just basically what i was showing you that we can normally go to during the normal school term elevators are over here for the boys and yeah this is the half year the barbecue thing isn't there normally so don't be expecting that to be there and there's a classroom out there that's the detention classroom as well no one really knows that so you actually get detention um but yeah that's the detention room and yeah i think i think this is the end of the vlog i might show my i might show the girls dorms just for showing sake but i really doubt i will but yes yeah, that's the end of this video don't forget to like subscribe share comment down below what you think about this video thank you for watching thank you for subscribing we're on the road to 1k subscribers so share and let's go let's go let's go